is full of lust, always violent and hateful and always unclean. They are just like so many beasts in a jungle. Text 20. Attaining, uh, translation. Attaining repeated birth amongst the species of demoniac life, such persons can never approach me. Gradually they sink down to the most abominable type of existence. Purport. It is known that God is all merciful, but here we find that God is never merciful to the demoniac. It is clearly stated that the demoniac people, life after life, are put into the wombs of similar demons, and, not achieving the mercy of the Supreme Lord, they go down and down, so that at last they achieve bodies like those of cats, dogs and hogs. It is clearly stated that such demons have practically no chance of receiving the mercy of God at any stage of later life. In the Vedas also it is stated that such persons gradually sink to become dogs and hogs. It may then sorry, it may be then argued in this connection that God should not be advertised as all merciful if he is not merciful to such demons. In answer to this question, in the Vedanta Sutra we find the Supreme Lord has no hatred for anyone. The placing of the Asuras the demons in the lowest status of life is simply another feature of his mercy. Sometimes the Asuras are killed by the Supreme Lord, but this killing is also good for them. For in the Vedic literature we find that anyone who is killed by the Supreme Lord becomes liberated. There are instances in history of many, us of many Asuras, Ravan, Kamsa, Hiranyakasipu, to whom the Lord appeared in various incarnations just to kill. Therefore God's mercy is shown to the, to the Asuras if they are fortunate, fortunate enough to be killed by him. Text 21 Translation There are three gates leading to this hell, lust, anger and greed. Every sane man should give these up, for they lead to the degradation of the soul. The poor. The beginning, of, the beginning of demoniac life is described herein. One tries to satisfy his lust, and when he cannot, anger and greed arise. A same man who does not want to glide down to the species of demoniac life must try to give up these three enemies, which can kill the self to such an extent that there will be no possibility of liberation from this material entanglement. Text 22 Translation the man, who, the man who has escaped these three gates of hell, or son of Kunti, performs acts conducive to self-realization and thus gradually attains the supreme destination, purport. One should be very careful of these three enemies to human life, lust, anger and greed. The more a person is freed from lust, anger and greed, the more his existence becomes pure. Then he can follow the rules and regulations enjoined in the Vedic literature. By following the regulated principles of human life, one gradually raises himself to the platform of spiritual realization. If one is so fortunate by such practice to rise to the platform of Krishna consciousness, then success is guaranteed for him. In the Vedic literature, the ways of action and reaction are prescribed to enable one to come to the stage of purification. The whole method is based on giving up lust, greed and anger. By cultivating knowledge of this process, one can be elevated to the highest position of self-realization. This self-realization is perfected in devotional service. In that devotional service, the liberation of the conditioned soul is guaranteed. Therefore, according to the Vedic system, there are instituted the four orders of life and the four statuses of life, called the caste system and the spiritual order system. There are different rules and regulations for different castes or divisions of society and if a person is able to follow them, he will be automatically raised to the highest platform of spiritual realization, then he can have liberation without a doubt.